What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video where today we're going to take a look at DLSS 3 frame generation in Dragon's Dogma 2. Now this is something that was supposed to be in the game and I guess it is in the game somewhat but cannot be accessed unless you use this mod made by Pure Dark. So this video will be split into two parts. The first one will be a tutorial where I'll show you how to download it and install it into your game. And the second one, we're going to check out the performance and see how it works. An important reminder here, though, is that you do need to have an RTX 4000 type of graphics card in order to be able to use this mod. What you're going to want to do is click on the link that I've left in the description, and it should take you to this Nexus Mods page of Dragon's Dogma 2 DLSS 3 by Pure Dark. Then you're going to click on the Files tab, and then Manual Download. And then you're going to click on slow download and the file should be downloading into your downloads folder. After that, you want to open up Steam and then go to your library. And then you want to right click on Dragon's Dogma 2, then manage and then browse local files. And that'll open up the install directory of Dragon's Dogma 2 on your computer. Now go ahead and open up your downloads folder and put it right next to the Steam install directory folder. The file that we're going to be replacing is called sl.interposer and if you don't see .dll you probably have view hidden items disabled, it's fine, don't worry about it, but I would recommend copying this by right clicking, show more options and then copy and then just paste it into another folder so you have it. I would, I would recommend doing this and then double click and open up the mod that we downloaded, it should be in your downloads folder and then just drag that sl interposer file and drop it into the Dragon's Dogma 2 install directory. And then the file is in and you're all set. However, before we jump into the game, I got to show you how you turn it on. The directions are on the mod page, but in order to use this, you need to have Nvidia Reflex enabled in the game settings and also DLSS. And then you use the end button on your keyboard to turn it off and on. For PC hardware, we're using an RTX 4090 and a Ryzen 7800X3D, and we're going to be targeting 4K with all settings maxed out, including ray tracing. Now, if you look at that image quality setting, make sure that the slider is directly in the middle, because that is actually 100%. I made the mistake of thinking all the way to the right was 100%, and I've been benchmarking the game at 200% resolution scale. So you don't want to do that. Make sure that's in the middle. Kind of unrelated, but important. Anyway. Let's see how much frame generation impacts the frame rate. Okay, so we have DLSS quality on the left and DLSS quality with frame generation on the right. And we seem to be getting around 35% extra FPS with frame generation on, which is uh, a welcome thing in this game. And kind of unrelated, again, about the image quality setting because I've spoken to other people and I even made a video for the 7900 XTX and 4090 for this game a couple days ago. And I thought the slider all the way to the right was 100% resolution scale and it's not. It's like 150. So make sure you set the image scale right in the middle for 100% resolution. Otherwise, you're going to think the game is a lot more demanding than it actually is. And uh, many people are making this same mistake, actually. And it's Capcom's fault for not labeling things properly, in my opinion, because they've done the same thing on their Resident Evil uh, games as well. And there's really no reason for it. Just, just label it what it is, you know? Anyway, let's take a look at that dreaded city. And to no one's surprise, the performance here is quite bad and frame generation does help us a little bit uh, like for example if you look at the one percent lows they're close to double than what they are without frame generation on but the frame rate is so inconsistent so erratic that it still doesn't feel great unfortunately so this is the worst performing area in the game if you didn't know uh, other than that though the outside world is actually pretty good it's not so bad uh, so the only way I know to make this area smoother, as a matter of fact, I did a little video about it, is to use a 40 FPS cap using a Riva Tuner statistics server. And that makes the city uh, a little bit, it does make it smooth, uh, a smooth 40 FPS, as smooth as that can be, but it's at least consistent. It doesn't feel as terrible. For example, this is that same exact lap that we did, but with a 40 FPS cap set on Riva Tuna Statistics server. And it's it's a lot better. Even though it's just 40, it's a lot better because it's consistent. And it's not really that 
big of an inconvenience to turn it on because you just tap out and set it on and then when you leave you can set it to zero so if you stayed in the city for a while um, I guess that's something you could do until Capcom fix it if they fix it so anyway guys this was just supposed to be mostly a tutorial to show you guys how to install the frame generation mod because apparently it, the game was supposed to ship with it and apparently it is in the game they just didn't let us use it for some reason so i don't know what that's about but i hope you guys liked it if you did like it give it a like i would highly appreciate that and consider subscribing for more similar content and hope you all have a great rest of the weekend Bye bye